Audio Jungle. Does your family look a lot like mine? What if something as microscopic as an amoeba could change your entire world as you know it? I'm Jeremy Lewis and my son is Kyle Grayson Lewis. He's the reason that we're here today. Along with my wife Julie and my daughter Peyton, we want to thank you for taking a few minutes to listen to our story. On August 29th of 2010, our family suffered the tremendous loss of our son, brother, grandson, and friend. Kyle Grayson was a beautiful, healthy seven-year-old boy who loved swimming, baseball, camping, and riding his dirt bike. He was a 100% boy. He had a huge heart and lots of love to share. His hugs were the best and his smile lit up the world. On August 29th of 2010, after a week full of swimming, fishing, camping, a wonderful family time, our world stopped when Kyle went to be with our Lord. Kyle passed away from the brain infection, primary amoebic meningoencephalitis, or PAM, which was caused by the waterborne amoeba, Nigleria phalari. What we quickly found out was that this brain-eating parasite is common in fresh, warm water, and the infection it causes has no cure. As we painfully know now, it progresses too rapidly for any life to have a chance against it. What we also learned was that there are ways to avoid the amoeba and prevent the infection. Kyle's family and friends are now dedicated to make others aware of this risk. The Kyle Lewis Amoeba Awareness Foundation was established with the goal of informing families of the potential danger of Nigleria phalari, which exists in most fresh water. Through education and awareness, our hope is to save lives and heartache for other families. Our mission is to make others aware of the risk, inform them of the prevention, and to work with doctors and researchers towards a rapid diagnosis and a cure. I'm Brandi Vinson, lead on the Education Committee for the Kyle Lewis Amoeba Awareness Foundation, also known as Kyle Cares. Nigleria is a free-living parasite that is climate sensitive and thermophilic in nature. It thrives in high temperatures. This microscopic amoeba can only be seen under a very powerful microscope with the right conditions and if the lab tech or doctors are specifically looking for it. Nigleria is a brain-eating amoeba that lives naturally in fresh waters including lakes, rivers, ponds, even ditch water and hot springs. It has also been found in underchlorinated splash pads and in public water systems. Deaths have occurred from nasal rinsing with neti pots without distilled or previously boiled water. This amoeba thrives, multiplies, and feeds on bacteria, and it poses a life-threatening risk when the water temperature is warm, near 80 degrees and higher. When water temperatures drop below 80, Nigleria could still be active and therefore still be a risk. It's dangerous if water containing the amoeba enters the body through the nose, which can occur during water activities such as swimming, diving, jumping, skiing, wakeboarding, being submerged, splashing around vigorously, and nasal rinsing. Nigleria migrates to the brain and causes the fatal brain infection, primary amoebic meningoencephalitis. Initial symptoms mimic meningitis or the flu and they show 1 to 14 days after contact, but then life is typically lost just 3 to 5 days after symptoms show. So you can see timing is critical. This map shows the states that have reported cases in the U.S. Nigleria is most commonly found in the southern states. There have been lives lost from California to Florida, from Texas to Minnesota, with cases in Australia, Pakistan, Costa Rica, and many countries around the world. PAM, however, is not a nationally notifiable disease, so not all cases have been reported or unfortunately not even diagnosed correctly. We have learned that many deaths have been documented as encephalitis or meningitis due to unknown causes. It was only after an autopsy or further testing was done that Nigleria was even discovered. Regrettably, we have spoken to many families around the country that have lost a loved one with these same symptoms, same freshwater exposure, and the same timeline, but they never had the autopsy done, and no one was looking for Nigleria. The documented number of cases today for PAM is low due to the many cases being misdiagnosed and not reported. Amoeba awareness is necessary, even in hospitals. Kyle had three days of second grade, played a scrimmage baseball game on a Wednesday night, 
and woke up Thursday with a headache and fever. That evening, Julie took him to the ER and he was admitted and given a spinal tap. They believed he had some sort of meningitis. Just 72 hours from the time he woke with the headache, Kyle lost brain activity. A few hours later, the lab noticed the amoeba in his spinal fluid. Please hear me. Nigleria does not survive in properly chlorinated pools or salt water, and it is not harmful if it's swallowed. Infections typically occur between June and September, and initial symptoms mimic meningitis with headache, fever, vomiting, and then it progresses to confusion, loss of balance, seizures, sight sensitivity, hallucinations, and coma. Nigleria has been found in shallow and in deep waters, not just on stagnant shoreline. The fatality rate is over 99%, with only a few documented survivors in the U.S. There currently is no guaranteed cure. Nigleria is 99% fatal, but 100% preventable. We only want to spread the awareness. We had no idea this danger exists. By spreading the amoeba awareness, others will at least be armed with the information to protect their loved ones. Let's talk prevention. Nigleria, the brain-eating parasite, is an unseen, deadly danger that can be avoided. There currently is no guaranteed cure, and it is 99% fatal, 100% preventable. For 100% prevention, avoid water activities in fresh water when the water is warm and do not allow any fresh water to enter your nose. To help reduce the risk, keep your head above and out of any warm water or use a nose plug or a swim mask. In nasal rinses or neti pots, use distilled, sterile, or pre previously boiled water. Our mission is to make others aware of this risk, inform them of the prevention, and to work with doctors and researchers towards a rapid diagnosis and a cure. The Kyle Lewis Amoeba Awareness Foundation has been very blessed to have had some incredible exposure to help us spread the awareness. Each year we hold golf tournaments, baseball tournaments, and several events across the U.S. where we have the chance to speak and educate people of this very real risk. We are very thankful for the doctors and the nurses, schools and organizations that have welcomed Kyle Cares and have helped in our mission. Through Kyle Cares, we are honored to share the personal stories of other loved ones that have been lost to Nigleria. Many families have come together as advocates for amoeba awareness and also work to spread the awareness to others, all hoping to save lives. We are very thankful for the friendships that have formed through the sharing of stories and tears and unimaginable loss. Since August 29, 2010, we've learned that a simple nose plug could have possibly prevented the deadly Nigleria amoeba from entering Kyle's nose. If you or a loved one will be swimming or playing in fresh, unchlorinated water, lakes, rivers, hot springs, ponds, ditches, splash pads, or any other fresh water that is near 80 degrees or warmer, be sure to have nose plugs on. Kyle Cares must insist that we do not offer any guarantee of any nose plug preventing Nigleria or water from entering the nose. We offer the nose plugs to help reduce the risk. A swim mask is another option to aid in reducing the risk of warm fresh water and the amoeba from entering the nose. Now that you've heard about this amoeba, here are some ways to take action. You can spread the awareness through flyers, wristbands, and shirts. You can connect with us on social media, including Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Attend a Kyle Cares event or host an awareness event. Become a sponsor financially through donations or become a volunteer and join us at an event. You could also serve on one of our advocates committees. To aid in our mission of spreading the awareness, Kyle Cares has nose plugs, literature, and other awareness items that you can order from kylecares.com. Nigleria falari is 99% fatal but 100% preventable. This 100% is possible by staying out of fresh water when the water temperature is near 80 degrees or warmer and not letting fresh water enter your nose. Remember, nose plugs are not a guarantee to keep this amoeba out of your nose. They are just a way to help reduce the risk. So please, swim safe and spread the amoeba awareness. Kyle cares and so do I.
Kyle cares, cares and so do we. Kyle cares about amoeba awareness and so do the Matthews. We're the Dragers from South Carolina. Kyle cares for amoeba awareness and so do we. We're Steve and Shelley Smelsky and our entire family supports. Kyle cares for amoeba awareness. Kyle cares and so do we.